This episode finds us completing our journey across North America. From Red Rock Canyon, we meander our way southwest until we arrive in San Diego. We drove through Nevada and acres of solar farms before arriving in California. Our first stop was at the Mojave National Preserve. We found a terrific spot in Hole in the Wall Campground. Stormy settled in in his cozy spot, and we all took in the beautiful surroundings as the sun dipped to the west. Good morning, California. Gotta practice, Stormy, in case we ever need to use it. <laughs> Don't want. It's our rough rescue gear rescue sling. Stormy, come. In case something happens to Stormy on one of the trails. Good boy. <laughs> Stormy says he doesn't he doesn't quite know about this. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Barber Peak Loop Trail. Volunteer park ranger. Doing some trail maintenance. <laughs> Good job, honey. Leave it better than you found it. That's right. Creative fence making. <laughs> Secure to the rocks. filmed the Flintstones here. Look, yeah, a little window. Everybody's worst fear is coming true. We found where we're gonna live. <laughs> amongst the holes in the Mojave. <laughs> what do you think, Stormy? As we continued our hike, the storm clouds in the distance started getting closer. We checked our satellite communicator and realized it was probably time to turn around. Do you have poodle feet? I feel like I do. I feel like this is so beautiful to me. Too many barbed grass horns. Yeah, we had to shave down the feet. So we got some insane wind going on here today. And overnight, we didn't sleep much last night because the wind was so strong. The gusts are shaking the airstream so bad. At one point, we thought we were get knocked over. I mean, we weren't, but yeah, you can see yeah stuff got blown thankfully our stuff did not get blown away but it is windy today it is very very windy but also very pretty so we hunkered down and waited for the rain to clear the next day was bitterly cold but it allowed stormy to try out his new winter jacket and put on a modeling show did you get a down jacket we didn't know it was going to be this cold in California, huh? <laughs> how cold is it? That's how cold. <laughs> Welcome to California. <laughs> Despite the cold and rain, we enjoy taking in the beautiful scenery. As the date cleared, it was time for us to hit the road yet again. But first, we were in for a bit of a shock. Welcome to California. 720 a.m. Fortunately, it was only this expensive at a little gas station in Fenner. So this is, they switched the order. And we recently saw a video on this that they put the lower grade on the far right where typically the premium is. So we <laughs> made the mistake and accidentally hit 91, but still the price is not that much less regular. <laughs> 6.99 a gallon. <laughs> ay ay ay. Ouch. After recovering from sticker shock, we headed out and passed the Amboy Crater, a dormant cinder cone volcano in the eastern Mojave Desert. Then we passed sodium chloride mines owned by National Chloride Company. This is mostly used in de-icing roads. We passed a geodesic dome house that my friend Sean would love. Outside 29 Palms, we passed an area that was developed as a result of the Small Tracks Act of 1938, but is now mostly abandoned. 
After transiting a mountain pass, we finally made it to our destination. Sky Valley Resort. So, as the glass says, taste the sunshine. California, first brewery in California. So we're at La Quinta Brewing Company in Desert Springs. I think Desert Springs. <laughs> I have no idea right, right. We just got here and Jason has wasted no time in having his first fish tacos. <laughs> he has been talking about these for a long time. Went into California and eat fish tacos. <laughs> this is not our normal style of camping, but very enjoyable nonetheless. Since entering California, the drizzly weather seemed to be following us, but the local inhabitants didn't seem to mind. So today we head to Carlsbad Beach. Right now we're in Sky, Sky Valley. Valley. Yep, Sky Valley, it's California. An RV slash park home resort. We took a few days over the new year. It's about 40 minutes out of Palm Springs. To uh, relax, have some full hookups, recharge the batteries, both figuratively and literally. Soak in hot tubs. Soak in hot tubs. They have mineral, mineral springs yep. here. So we did on, a couple of soaks in the mineral spring hot tubs, followed by a cold plunge bath. Yeah. Where it's probably about 40 degrees, maybe? 40-ish. 40 40-ish. Cold. Yeah. Cold, yeah. very cold. So we did Getting ready for plunge. the polar bear plunge in the Arctic. <laughs> exactly, conditioning ourselves for next summer, <laughs> getting a head start. So yeah, so we're just taking the pupper for a last walk before we hitch up and roll out. But yeah, we didn't film a whole lot while here. There really wasn't a whole lot to film. No, very much R&R. &R. Yep. It's a nice little RV resort. So if anyone's here, Sky Valley Resort. It's kind of between the Mojave and then the, the West Coast around LA. So it breaks up the drive a little bit. So great spot to stop and rest for a few days. The site, it was pretty sweet. It was tiny, um, but we had a little, a little turf pad and it came with a little outdoor dining set. It was private, quiet. We were tucked in the back corner of the resort. And beautiful palm tree. Transported to Ireland. There it is. And there's the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific, woohoo! From the Gulf of Maine and the Atlantic to the Pacific. We made our way to the campground at South Carlsbad State Beach. Is that the Pacific Ocean? Have you been in the Atlantic? Do you need to go in the Pacific? Unfortunately, this is as close as Stormy got during this trip. We got to enjoy watching some of her favorite birds, the pelicans. But we had brought the rain and drizzle with us yet again. Just a reminder that if you can, you should save a life. After that, the skies cleared and we were able to move to a beachside spot and have a fantastic view out our bedroom window. The next day we headed to San Marcos to go for a little bit of a hike and explore. made it to Double Peak Park, then rewarded ourselves at Carlsbad Brewing Company. We each tried a flight and some food and it was all very good. Back home it was time to cuddle up on Kelly's quilt and enjoy another beautiful sunset. Where's the sunset? The next morning we watched the paddleboard or surfing, hoping that Kelly could get some pointers before we get to Alaska and she tries to ride the board tide wave at Turnigan Arm. What did we get? We got a fridge freezer. <laughs> Salmon and halibut that we hopefully catch in Alaska. Alaska! We met up with friends Aim, Al, Kinsey, and Keegan and went for a beautiful hike behind their home. 
After watching a beautiful sunset, we headed back down the mountain, where Al introduced us to the amazing bonfire log. Don't be surprised if you see another one of these in a future episode. Stormy was thrilled to hang out with his new friend Scoops. Possible. Jason is literally like 15 feet away. Oh, the signs of distress. Oh, goodness. Yes, yes. All is right in the world now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, daddy, 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 daddy. So Stormy is resting easy now. He's been suffering from a sore shoulder for about the last week, week and a half, actually a little longer since we did Turtle Head Peak in Nevada. <clears throat> and his front shoulder has been really sore. So we were had him on some anti-inflammatories, but we just met a lady who does dog chiropractic adjustments and she popped Stormy's shoulder back in place. And <laughs> we're feeling much, much better, aren't we buddy? The crew came over for our last day and last sunset at Carlsbad Beach. The next day we headed further south to the end of the road. The San Diego area had quite a bit of rain before we arrived, so Kelly reconned the road ahead and made sure it was safe to cross. We safely arrived at Tijuana River Valley Regional Park Campground. on one side. The border with Mexico on the other. Cute little obstacle course playground area right in the middle of the campground. <laughs> with a rock wall. And a ropes course that Kelly mastered. Watch her stick this landing. Storm and I did the pilings our own way. Before he got distracted by something. Play with a snail. So, what are we cooking over a fire tonight? Fire courtesy of Aim and Al. Thank you guys. So we're doing pineapple bacon sausages over the open flame. These s'more sticks are, are very multi-use, <laughs> we're learning. Sounds of the frogs, backlit by the lights of Tijuana. So we'd really like to give you guys an input on how delicious this is gonna be. Look at how beautiful this is. You can't hear Kelly right now, but she's saying, look how beautiful this is. It's loud. <laughs> Jason is saying it's very, very good. <laughs> the El Jefe Burger? El Jefe yes. Burger. El Incredible. El Incredible. <laughs> and in OB, Kelly was able to stock up on her favorite Russian River Brewing. So we're leaving California a little early. I'm sure everybody has seen all the rain that they're getting here and the area that we're staying is prone to some flooding. Um, there was already standing water when we got there as you saw. So we are cutting out early. So our California trip was kind of a bust. Didn't do much in San Diego. Um, wasn't able to meet up with some friends. Wasn't able to go get the fish tacos that we wanted to do. Wasn't able to go to Dog Beach. but. Can drive in a lot of crazy ass driving though. Yeah, a lot of traffic, a lot of crazy drivers. But um, we always err on the side of caution, so we are adjusting our plans and leaving early. And we are headed east today, um, away from this incoming weather. We ascended up the 8 through Cleveland National Forest to an elevation of 4,140 feet. Then we begin our descent until we eventually reached El Centro where we maxed out at negative 90 feet of elevation. Just at a rest stop. Watching Blue Angel. 
practice. Not to be outdone, this crop dusting helicopter pilot gave us a show of their own. A little while later, I thought I'd taken a wrong turn and ended up at the Sahara Desert. But it was just Glamis, in the North Algodonas Dunes. Though mostly uninhabited, Glamis is a playground for off-road vehicles on the weekends. Then we passed some bearded palms before making a mistake. This isn't fun. So it took us down the wrong road. The fun of boondocking. I think it's down here. Glad we got that lift. <laughs> this sign assured us we were back on the right track. First, we had to take our 16,000 pound rig across an old rickety wooden bridge. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. We arrived at Hippie Hole, where we'll see you next time. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.